I don't really remember the story too much. Sign of a great anime. He got, <laughs> yeah, it got crazy, dude. He came back as a Titan, and they found some chick that was a Titan, and she started killing like everybody. And that's all I remember. I don't remember how the season ended. Hmm. Yeah, I may, I, I may never get back into it. Like I said, I'd rather watch on a different video. I'd rather watch Death Note. Finish that. Yeah. Hell yeah. We found it, thou sleeping. After thou defeated thirst quencher's abominable robotith, so brought thou to hither roometh. Robotith? Oh yeah, and that big imbecile with the cape. He kidnapped a princess. That loser, I let him get away. I wonder if this is picking up louder than on the PS2. Who knows? Dude, did you... Have you seen any of that last episode of Resident Evil? I watched like 10 minutes of it and then I passed out. It's so weird, man. Some of it... Some of the voices you can hear in the mic and some you can't, but it's not like we mess with the volume. You're talking about an echo, not even from the... Yeah, like an echo. Huh. It's so weird. It just must be the way that the audio was coming out of the TV at the time. I guess. Yeah, those are the five scrolls you were talking about. So you don't know how long this is going to take you to beat it? No. Interesting. But you don't you don't you don't think you're gonna struggle, really? No. We'll have to look one thing up. Cause there's this maze that you go like left and right based on the rules of the game Shogi. And when I was a kid I was I didn't have a computer. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> So, so that was just a guessing game until I finally got through it. So on how long to beat, it says main story is 14 and a half hours, main plus extra 18. Completionist 18 and a half hours. Completionist did this as an episode. Nuh-uh. Yeah, I remember watching that. I don't know if it had Greg on it or not. My so nemesis. it might not exist. Yeah. Dragon Rider, I'm calling you out. You name the game, <laughs> and I will finish it faster. <laughs> I, I bet there are quite a few games he could finish faster than you. Oh, dude. Yeah, I, I call him out because it's a joke. Like, yeah. he's fucking good. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> that kid's nuts, man. Yeah. He puts in a shitload of work. That's what I'm saying. I just uh, watched him. Like, one of his most recent completionist episodes was uh, Half-Life 2 and the episodes. See, I wouldn't be able to do that either. So he, he just did it all in one run because uh, Steve achievements were added onto that game so he had to get all the achievements. Um, and uh, I think his total time for... And he had never played those games before. Really? Yeah, so within the last like month or whenever he was actually playing it recently was the first time he had ever gone through them and he started it on hard and I think it took him 20 something hours which is fast on hard for those three games because they're long games haven't you beaten alright I'll hit the books man I thought I could get out of it <laughs> haven't you beaten all the two episodes yeah they're really good <sighs> I never have I own them though. Orange box. On PS3? No, just on comp. Was that available on the computer as a package? Yep. Huh, I didn't know that. Sir Musashi, been waiting for you. Who are you? Yeah, the first episode isn't great. Um, How long are they? The episodes? Yeah. First one's like four or five hours. The second one is like eight. Damn. They're they're pretty legit. I'll, I play games slowly too, so that see. Might let's be play wrong. the game. Let's play Shogi. You learn it. I'm not doing that though. You're just gonna. I'm just gonna have me look it up. Yeah. That's funny. <clears throat> it's crazy, man. Especially when you're fucking like I was like ten, twelve when I was playing. This. Yeah. <laughs> what uh. Do you even know what Shogi is? Because I don't. I just know they play it on Cowboy Bebop. 
Oh, is that Shogi? Yeah, in the movie. Fuck. When he's playing it at like the beginning of the movie or something. Oh, they play. He... Do they play it more than once? Like throughout the series? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll take your advice. Thanks. Have you not seen the series? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I am just thinking of them. I could have sworn Jet and Spike have played Shogi in multiple occasions. They probably have. That's probably why it's in the movie. Especially like early in the series when it's just them two. Yeah. Ed. Ein. <laughs> Short for Einstein. <laughs> Isn't Ed a human too? And she's like the weirdo. She, uh, yeah, she's a she's a female, like young teen. Yeah. Who's like a computer genius? Who's like super fucking stretchy? Yeah. She like types with her toes and <laughs> yeah. shit, and doing like a yoga pose. It's like okay. I, I see you needed to get weird, Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put that anime in the anime. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> so is there only one town? Yep. And it's like a hub and you kind of go off from there? Yep. Cool. I like hub towns. Threads of Fate has that. Like a real small... That's a game I'm watching you play. Like a real small little hub town. That's a long game because it's too... Actually, we could play it where I play as one character and you would play as the other. I'm down with that, dude. I've never... We played it for a little while. Yeah, I, sh I showed it to you for a bit. But that's about it. I, lo I love that game. That game flew under my Squaresoft radar, dude. I'd never even heard of it. It came out late. It came out in like 2000 or 2001 or something. I think it was like 2000. Did you rent it? Originally, yeah. And then I bought it. And then sold it and then bought it again. Because that was back when I wasn't collecting shit. But I, th I think I've rebought it. It's on my PS3. And I think I have a physical copy. And I have to look again. <clears throat> yeah, you do. Because I've seen it. Yeah. That's how I found out about it. I mean, I saw you have a copy of it. Yeah, but I bought that recently. Yeah. That game is... I just really like... It, it has this kind of feel to it. It's an action RPG. Chibi characters. Low poly. Mm-hmm. You know, hub world, and you just kind of go from there. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. See here. I gotta wait till this dude falls asleep. So you just have to wait it out? Yep. Whoa, did he just fuck off? Yeah, he fucked off. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> he just like ran into you while you're asleep. Yeah. Like, hey, it's open now. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're supposed to play through it once as one character, play through it a second time as a second character, and then you get the true ending. Um, oh, okay. So there is a reason to play as both. Yeah, because if you play through as one, it ends... kind of. But you play through it again as a second character... And then it continues just a little bit extra to get, like, I think it opens up, like, the last actual boss or some bullshit. Okay. And, you know, it's like a silent protagonist and then a very mouthy protagonist. <laughs> a silent one? Really? The main, the dude doesn't say anything. Um, and the uh, female uh, talks a lot. Uh, and has, you know, like, she curses a lot, but it's 
it that's either like does her like character. Yeah, but it either does like symbols or says expletive deleted. I can't remember which one. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a fun game. <clears throat> and the dude is more melee based, and she is a mage. But he can uh, like this game a little bit. He can take the power of an enemy and actually turn into that enemy, and you have to use that to solve puzzles and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. So it's like Kirby, like this. Doesn't it have... It has that enemy from Mana as like a little Easter egg. That little rabbit thing. Yeah, it's like a little floaty uh, green thing that kind of looks like the jumpy things in Secret of Mana. Yeah. Yeah. Like a leaf on its head or something. Whew. Oh, you can't go here yet. I'm going to look up some trivia on this thing. I want to know who directed this. This must be the mutt the mayor was talking about. Well, here goes nothing. What? You just tossed a dog. <laughs> Gotta save the mayor's dog, dude. What, what about the bone? Bone. Are your knees oh, shaking? Fuck. Oh, dude. God damn it. I think the mayor even says something. God, man. I think he says something. If you heard him. It says here, development began in early 97 and it was directed by Yoichi Yoshimoto. Produced Yusuke Harada and scored by Suyoshi Sakito. Oh. He's the only one that has a clickable link on this yeah. Wikipedia page. Do you know who this is? Ooh. Yeah, he did the music. He, do, he does the music in quite a few games. He did Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. TMNT 2, Back from the Sewers. I didn't know that was the... Is that the one you were talking about? I think for NES? Just, yeah, I think that's just the well, NES arcade game. Now that the mud is back, I can ask the mayor about Chocobo's the Dungeon 2, Chrono Trigger for the PlayStation, but just the PlayStation? Oh, uh, okay, so he probably did, like, arrangements. I guess so. Kingdom Hearts, Dream Drop Distance. I didn't know that. Mind Jack, the third birthday. Isn't that Parasite Eve, the third birthday? Oh, yeah. Why is it? I didn't know it was just called the third birthday. Birth by Sleep, Dawn of Mana. He's had a pretty legit career. The development of this game began in early 97, and it came out in Japan July 98, here October 31st, 1998. Fucking Halloween game. Yeah. Here we go, dude. Here comes Spike. Oh, that's weird. What? The little sun rays at the top of the screen. Oh yeah. You all right? You saved my boy. That's him? I really appreciate it. It be. Do you have some water and some bread? Haven't had anything to eat in three days. It's him. Huh. Sorry, pal. He's not doing the spike voice. No. But the same actor. You can tell later on. He's a main character. He'll be in it more. So you said he's the mayor? No, he's just a thief. Oh, the mayor okay. locked him up. I was talking to the mayor at that house. But that was the mayor's dog. Yeah. That was his dog? It's really his dog, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, those rays. Yeah. They just kind of move across the screen. Is that supposed to like signify time or something? See, they're, like, they're gone now. 
can't really remember. I think that's just, you know, well, I have an effect. Hold on. I'll get you some. Oh, Thanks, oh, this dude wants some bread. I'm sorry, man. Give me the bread. Isn't Musa like Musashi a real person? Yep. Or is he a myth? Like he was a real historical figure? Yeah, but I think I don't know. Check it out. I know this story kind of follows it follows like you know the lore here you go pal well, don't just show me the food man ah. oops sorry don't worry pal I'll feed it to you jeez chill out <laughs> much better I'm John Treasure hunter. And you? I'm Musashi. Um, what's a treasure hunter? <laughs> well, to put it simply, I search the world looking for treasure. I experience life. You know? I guess that's it. <laughs> so, you're just a thief then. Huh. What a letdown. Wait a sec, Musashi. I want to show you my gratitude. I'll tell you a secret. But only if you set me free. I'll set okay, you free, bro. My man. Well, I left the key Sounding. To <laughs> okay. You saw it, dude, not me. <laughs> That make you uncomfortable? It looked painful. <sighs> Sounds painful. Dog's name is Leno? <laughs> it's funny, I was just talking about Jay Leno last night. <laughs> Were you? Yeah. About what? Uh, how, so, how some people give him shit, but generally in the stand up comedy world, he's known as like a really yeah. hard worker. Yeah. Like, he, he may is. not be the funniest guy, and he's pretty clean cut and everything. It doesn't mean he's not good at what he does. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> and, and from what I've heard, like the money he made on the Tonight Show, he essentially never spent. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he like all the money that he actually spent, he did from like, because even when he was doing the show, he would go out to comedy clubs and do comedy shows and shit like that. Okay, and make money that way. Although the amount of cars and like his house. I can't imagine he didn't spend that Tonight Show money while. Yeah, I forgot about that. Because he has a ton of cars. He has a fucking garage that is like a... Uh, uh, it's just a big-ass building. Although I know he has that hooked up to the grid uh, using like wind and solar power. So I think like... No way. He actually gets money. Um, his, his electric bill. You know, like you could do that. In a lot of places. Oh, damn. Where you're actually producing more energy than you use, so they actually pay you back. I didn't know he rolled like that, dude. Yeah. This guy had, apparently, Musashi had 60 duels, and he never lost one. My man. 
It's just a bit. It's a big thing, but yeah, he. 1584 to 1645, so he was 60 to 61 when he died na of natural causes. He just kind of, like, it says he was a ronin, uh, martial arts philosophy writer and ronin, swordsman, Japanese swordsman. Just kind of like a, a real historical figure that has, like, a mythology built around him, it seems. Mm-hmm. The legend. Ah, uh, the Gooch was executive producer. Damn. Oh, hell yeah, dude. He needs to. That guy fucked you up. I know. Nobuo and the Gooch. What is it with Japanese games having mushroom enemies? <laughs> I don't know. Even, even fucking Dark Souls has that shit. Where? Dark Souls? Dark uh, Souls 3? They're all poisonous little hoppy round mushrooms? I don't remember that. Remember the swamp area in Dark Souls 3? Where that giant yeah. crab is? Yeah. There's little areas that have those mushrooms that pump out poison. I don't they're remember like a, that. They're, if you look at them, it looks like a little bug and then a giant mushroom on top. A really fat, like, purple mushroom. I hated that area, man. That area was nuts. That area's kind Wait, of annoying. You're talking about like with the clear water or with the poison water? Clear water. Dark Souls 3 with the clear water. I kind of liked that place, it actually. Was, it was right... With all the crabs. Yeah, and there's one or two giant crabs. Giant ones. enemy crabs. And then crabs. there are those crazy beasts that have like the uh, cross with a circle on their back. Yep. And then the boss of that area is that mage whatever its name is, that becomes an enemy in uh, Lothar Castle. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. In the Grand Archives or whatever it's called. I can't remember. I missed that boss. Uh, I got stuck because you know how it splits. Do you not? Is that an optional boss? That might be an optional boss. I think. Well, I don't know, but I know I had to go searching for it. I think think you have to go through that area to get to another area but there is but you there also is like you can go down before you get to that boss i think you can go down to the poison forest to get to the abyss watchers I yeah think, yeah i think because i got stuck when you need what is it the snowy area you need Irithil. some. You need some item to go across that bridge. You yes. Uh, and I didn't have, have to, it. Well, you need to beat the abyss watchers to do that. I think. Is that the? No, no, no. You need to beat the deacons of the deep to get past that barrier into Irithil because okay. they give you a doll, and that doll allows you to pass that barrier. Yeah. That's at the end of that bridge. So yeah, that mage may be a completely no. Because to get to the deacons, you have to go through her to get to the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because then you get to the little graveyard area that leads into that kind of like castle with the giants. And then at the bottom of that is where the deacons are. That's a pretty boring boss fight. The witch? No, yes. Um, that's not a good boss fight and the deacons of the deep. Which is just that you the soul possessing one of the deacons surrounded by a bunch of other yeah. deacons and yeah. you just need to hit the one with the soul in it. Uh, when I did that on New Game Plus Plus What weapon was I using? I was using the Fume Ultra Great Sword. Fugs. And just murdered everybody. Because you just swing through, like, everybody. Yeah. Run around a bit, swing. That boss is probably harder the first time you play it than the second or third time. Just because of the weapons you have? Yeah. Having shorter weapons that hit that don't hit as hard makes that boss harder. Mm-hmm. 
So like a dex run on that might be a little bit harder because you'd have to get a lot closer. Is that what you roll? That's usually what I roll. No, I was rolling heavy. Um, but I, I like I pumped in a lot into dex because there's a bunch of swords, you know, where you need level 18 dex, level 24 strength, shit like that, you know. Yep. <coughs> and if anything scales off of, you know, dex. Pumping a few levels into that after you get to a certain point from strength will get you more damage output than if you kept going with strength. Even mm -hmm. though it would scale heavier off of strength, there's a soft cap. You know what I mean? Yep. So. But like I didn't for a know. lot of that game, we're not talking about this game, is what's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you know that it was that one? Or was the dog pointing at Yeah, the dog. What happens if you push any others? Is like a ghost appear like Zelda? <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's find out. Probably nothing happens. Yeah, I don't think anything happened. Yeah. 